Our research goal is to have complete control of matter. There's a broad area called supramolecular chemistry. Supramolecular chemistry means that you're making a big assembly of matter. And by big, not talking really huge on the order of nanometers or multiple nanometers in scale. The particular approach that we've chosen is to use DNA as kind of the information source, or the, the way that we can encode information about the structure that we would like to uh, create uh, using this DNA. So how are we approaching uh, being able to put this together? DNA origami is the folding of uh, strands of DNA to make objects and in principle whatever uh, structure you would like but uh, the structures that we prefer are grid-like structures because we would like to organize molecules, these sensing molecules on a surface, so that they're in an array, very well organized, presented to the solution so that the molecule that we would like to sense can easily drop into, usually it's a pocket in the molecule that's most able to exactly uh, acquire the shape of the molecule that you're interested in. Well, the best kind of a case would be, we actually already know that there's some areas of West Virginia that the water has a lot of uranium. And we would like to make a sensor that's so inexpensive, any homeowner would be able to determine whether their drinking water in their place has uranium in it. This also has biomedical applications. You could assume that in a hospital, in your bloodstream, there may be species that you would also like to detect very, very rapidly and at very small concentrations. And certainly the rapidity is uh, instantaneous. When a molecule interacts with its target, the signal should be instantaneous. But we want to go through making essentially an entire catalog that we hope that catalog will eventually be a part of your cell phone that will be sniffing the air, Maybe you could put a drop of water on something that you plug into your cell phone so it will tell you what's in your water, for example.